Not gonna lie, that was so much faster than I expected. This was a pretty simple project, but... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like a lot of people, I have a lot of silly stupid ideas, some of which I have coded on this channel. But I really want to find that million dollar idea. And I've done a lot of passive brainstorming in the past few months. I now really need to find or create a tool to help me sort through those ideas and figure out which idea is going to be my million dollar idea. So first, I'm going to tell you the problem I'm facing. Then we're going to try and figure out if we can code something to solve it. And then we will end up coding it out and hopefully using it as well. I have my super nice coffee with me, so let's go. We're now on Notion, and this is the list of ideas that I've tried to sort through. So I have the name of the idea, the category, and a brief description of what it's going to be. And here I have a bunch of questions to ask. So these top 10 questions are what I found from a Y Combinator video about questions to ask yourself before picking an idea for a startup or just an idea to work on. These are seven other questions that I came up with, just things that are important to me. So these are the questions I want to ask for every single idea. And these are my list of ideas. What I could do is open an idea, copy paste the questions and then try to answer them. But even if I answer them, how do I rank which idea is better than the other? Because right now I'm just answering questions. It's very hard to pick what the priority of the ideas would be. Do you get the problem I'm trying to solve here? If I look at these questions, I think it's very possible for them to be given a numerical rating too. For example, do you have found a market fit? Then I could do like, kind of, so that's one point, but it is related that will be three points and then a lot. It's what I work on every day. So that would be five points. So this way for every single question, I could have different type of rating systems and then I can assign a numerical value to each question and answer them for all of the ideas I have. And based on the answers of these questions, I will create a ranking of what idea should I work on and what is not that feasible or not the best idea for me right now. So that's more or less what I'm thinking of. So one way that we could do this is to paste my ideas on an Excel sheet and all of the columns will be different questions that I want to ask. Do you have found a market fit? And then I could give it numbers and based on the numbers that I give here, I can have like a total sum here with a formula from Excel at this and this, something like that, and come up with the ranking. So that's one way to do it. But if I do it this way, then it's going to be hard for me to see the criteria for every single question. So it's going to be very specific criteria for every question. And it's going to be hard for me to see those criteria on Google Sheet. At least it's not going to be super intuitive or user friendly with me being the user. So I don't want to use Excel to prioritize my ideas. I think I'm going to build a website to help me do this. Let's open up Figma to help me do this. I'm going to create a ideation priority tool. I want to have all the ideas stored and then for each idea, I fill out a form. So I have this tally form opened here, which was the form that I created for my previous video. Check that out. And in this form, it's really easy. It just has a bunch of uh, options to pick and a very clean, simple interface, which is exactly what I want. I would pick one idea and for each idea, I fill out these questions and I'll be able to view all the different criteria for each of the questions that I have to ask as well. Once I fill out the form, I will then be able to evaluate the survey and I'll be able to do this with code, which does simplify a lot of things. It would also be so good to do a weighted evaluation. 
And then after evaluating, it would be so nice to see all the ideas rank based on a score. I have a brief idea of what this is going to look like. And it's getting me very excited to build this. What I really like about this is that this is going to make my ideation journey very scalable, which means that every time I have a new idea, I'll be able to just key in, look at the form, fill out the survey, and then be able to rank this idea on the score that I came up with. And of course, we want to create a database so that we can persistently store the rankings so that I don't need to keep filling out the survey all over again. The first step is going to be to understand how to numerically evaluate each question. What I mean by that is we have this founder market fit. So what exactly does number one mean? What does number two mean? What does number five mean? And come up with a scoring scale, like a scoring system to help me score. And I think DeepSeek is going to help us with this. So I'm going to dump these questions into DeepSeek and ask it to come up with a scoring system for me. So it just does like half the work and then I can evaluate what it comes up with and change things along the way. So for now, I think I'm just going to go with the scoring system of one to five because I think it's okay. And it is doing exactly what I want. So for the first question, it comes up with specific information about each scoring number for that question itself. For example, do you have any competition? One is going to be no competition. Then two is minimal. Five is intense, but I have a unique advantage. I like what it came up with. And we're going to move on to step number two. Step number two is going to be to implement this. I don't think I'm going to come up with a design first like we have done for other projects, just because this is a project where I just want it to work, to be honest. I don't need a super clean design. I don't need it to be super aesthetic looking either. As long as it works, I'm happy with it. I was introduced to this Shad CN UI library that I have not really tried before. And this more or less has a bunch of UI components that you can integrate into your projects. I think they work with multiple different languages as well, if I'm not wrong. So I will just be using this for my user interface. I'm going to be using Next.js, which is something I'm not super familiar with, but I have been wanting to try it for a while. So it seems like a good, quick project for me to work on it with and just try building Next. And if I do want to deploy it, then I can always use Vercel, which is also something I've been wanting to try. And yeah, just seems like a good time to try Next. So let's do that. I'm going to start off by creating our Next.js app and then I'm going to include all of the different Shad CN UI components as well. And for this, I'm using Cursor to help me code out the UI mostly because I think it's super useful when it comes to those type of things, especially when I don't have a design. Now we try to run our app and let's see if it works. Cool. Okay, now we just have a very basic Next.js app working. And it's time to go in and make changes to the app. So let's code. Not gonna lie, that was so much faster than I expected. So let me show you the basic starting point that I came up with so far. Nice. So this is the starting page, but we're gonna have a start evaluation button and then a page to view all my ideas as well, which will look like a database table. But that doesn't exist so far. I'm just working on the starting evaluation part now. So when I click on that, I would be able to add my ideas. And then I decided to also create this MVP description section, which lets me write down what the MVP will be like. So let's try and do this for the first idea, which is a prompt testing platform. So I wanted to do a, a SaaS product to allow, so kind of like an experimentation feature, but for prompt testing and then I can click start evaluating and I don't have the remaining questions set up yet but for now I have the prompt testing platform which is going to be the name and then the brief description which shows up here and I just have seven questions for now and I think it looks okay UI wise so this fits what I wanted because for every different question I will have different type of scoring scales show up here so the wording here will be different which is kind of what I needed. And for now, I'm going to be using this uh, dragging scale bar 
but I, I don't know. I, I think it just like makes it a little nicer for me to score it. So this would be one, two, three, four, five. The next step is going to be to move on and add all the different questions as well. So let's do that. It really doesn't look bad at all. So let me show you what we're building. Before I show you the UI, I think I want to tell you briefly about the code as well. So I have this evaluation file which contains all of the different uh, questions that I have. And for each question, I also have this criteria weights. So I have given a pretty high weight to my founder fit question because I think that's just very important to me personally. And maybe along the way, if I find that this algorithm or like this logic doesn't work or does come up with a good idea, then I'm going to tweak these weights and see what works best for me personally. So this is what we have. And now, so let's try testing it out. We're going to start evaluation and I'm going to try and use a different, I will use this AI email client, which was somehow already there. And, uh website which i gave a dummy mvp or for this particular idea because currently we're just trying to make this app work and then at the end i will go in and add all of my different ideas and evaluate them but for now this is just for testing purposes so when i submit it says payload must be of okay there was an error it worked just now okay what is the error Okay, I think I know why. Let's try again. Go. Currently, I just have cases. So I'm going to try another idea. So this is an idea that I actually really like. So like a productivity tool for creators. And I'm going to answer it randomly and submit. Okay, we have the e AI email client and the creator CRM. And I show the idea name and it should be in order of scoring. So in descending order of the score, which means that the AI email client, because it's scored better, it will be at the top and different statuses as well. I just have the status field for now. And I have a way to change the different statuses here, which is not very smart, but we can fix that next time. I think I'm happy with this. If I evaluate a new idea, then I go back to this page. And if I go back to the home page and click view idea, I see all of this. So UI wise, I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks. What would be great now is to change and add a database because currently all of these ideas are stored in my local storage. And I definitely want to create a database for this. And I was researching databases and I came across Neon Tech, which looked pretty good and it had a cheap free plan of 0.5 GB and 10 projects. So I like this for now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this for my database. I created this ideas evaluator table here. The UI so far is pretty good. I can even query this and I can view all the tables I have, which so far is just going to be the ideas table. And I even set up this Prisma schema over here with my idea model, which is going to be the name, description, scores, weighted, all this type of stuff. And then when we do add a new idea, we would be able to add it to the database. But I haven't tested that out yet. So let me test it out with you. So you see some authentic reactions. So this should be empty right now because this comes from the database, which is empty. Okay, good. And now we evaluate new idea. So what if the idea is, okay, Git for non-devs. And okay, I'm just going to answer it super randomly. Submit. And it shows up here. But if we go to NeonDB, does it show up? Oh, nice. It does show up. We have the name, the score, and the weighted score. So this is the specific scores so far. And this is the weighted score. Not bad, that works. Wait, that actually worked. I'm pretty shocked right now. Okay. Yeah, when, when such unexpected things work for the first time, that's a bit surprising. What do I do next? 
I think we have a working tool. I'm going to try and add like a lot of other ideas and see how that works. I'm honestly quite surprised that it worked so fast and this was not at all what I was expecting. The four main technologies I used, ShadCN for the UI, Incredible, Next.js, so easy to work with, Cursor, definitely helped me a lot when working with tools that I wasn't familiar with, and Neon, what is it called? Neon Tech for the database, super easy to work with and to set it up. So, so far, such a good experience working with these four different technologies. Check them out on yourself if you're working on a different project and I'm for sure going to use this for the next project that I work on. But for the next steps, I'm going to then fill out my ideas into this form and then have them all ranked out nicely for me. And every time I have a new idea, I can then just run up the app and fill out my ideas or I can even view my ideas on the database table directly. And this was a pretty simple project, but again, I just wanted to show something that I was coding, which was making my life easier and solving a, a pain point for me. So tell me in the comments down below what other projects maybe you want me to work on. And if you want something that's useful or do you want more of those like silly projects? Because I have a lot of those in my backlog. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.